When my husband and I got married, we always knew we wanted to have a family. I'm an only child, he's one of three. And so we were thrilled to learn that we were expecting our, our first child in 2004. For the most part, the pregnancy was great until I was at about 32 weeks. And when they do the centimeter measure of your belly, realized I wasn't measuring the number of weeks by the centimeter. The room fell silent. Uh, they kept on re-measuring and they kept on re-scanning, uh, looking for certain, I guess, indications on how big the baby was. And that's when we found out our daughter, Yara, had only grown to 29 weeks, basically, and she had to be delivered via emergency. It was really pretty, pretty scary. We just felt very much alone, and you know, the idea of bringing your baby home from the hospital wasn't happening. We spent two months there. There's a lot of emotions that go with feeling somehow like you're inadequate, somehow like you know you don't know how this is going to turn out is there any hope possibly for this outcome and just concern and worry about how will she be as she grows up as a little a little girl when yara was about a year and a half old we learned that we were expecting a second daughter which brought us so much joy and all through those um, specialized visits to doctors and everything, they kept telling us that she was perfect. We got to the point where it was about a week before her due date and went for a final checkup and all of a sudden they prodded and looked and looked. There was no heartbeat and it was 30 minutes of them placing the, the sensors to be able to do the you know, heartbeat check. We had gone through so many struggles and we thought this was going to be possibly the first time that we're going to have what you call a normal pregnancy and it was going normally until that you know the last two days before we were scheduled for the c-section and the nurse broke out in tears and i couldn't understand that i mean i suddenly just went into numb and she said i'm so sorry but she's gone so i remember back to the time that not only we had yara as a premature little one, but all, especially when Zaina was born, still almost eight pounds. The community of people that, who came out to support both me and Malik, and we always both said, you know, if there's anything we could ever do for, for those that go through such difficult times that we would want, we'd want to make sure we do that. And so when I think about uh, when I was involved, or when I was first asked to get involved with Hand to Hold, an organization that came to be many years after we'd had these experiences, I was thrilled for our community and um, always knew that if there was some way that we could help out, we'd want to. And so it's frankly a privilege to know that sharing our story, as painful as it is to recount a decade later um, can make a difference for other people. Yara today is a very energetic, happy, thriving sixth grader. She's 11 years old. She wears a size eight women's shoe and she's about five feet tall. And we were always told she'll be tiny. And she was little for the first several years of her life. You know, she was the, little, the littlest of the children in the preschool and, and in grade school, but you would never know it today. <laughs>